Well, good afternoon. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. I'm really glad you could join me today. I wanted to share some tips and ideas with you today on how you can direct sow winter squash in your garden containers. And the, the variety here is vegetable spaghetti, otherwise known as spaghetti squash. And so I'm really glad you could join me today. Well, yeah, it's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. I just love these cloudy, overcast days. You know, it's nice to be able to, good days to be working out in the garden. You don't have to worry about getting sunburned or, you know, it's nice and easy on the plants too, especially when they're young at this stage in the early spring. But anyhow, we just love our spaghetti squash here. You know, it's something really easy to, to direct sow in your garden. And I have here these raised garden containers. Uh, I made these out of the, if you've seen my video, uh, how to build a indestructible raised garden beds out of a 55 gallon drum. And that's what I did with these. Uh, and then I sprayed them brown. And these containers have really worked out great. They're about 23 inches in diameter and 12 inches deep. And I filled these with my, my garden compost. Uh, it's leaf mulch amended with topsoil. And then, um, you know, they just have it, you know, these, uh, the spaghetti squash, as with most vegetables, like a nice, deep, rich, fertile, loose soil. And so, uh, let's just take a moment and read some of the information here behind the pack here. It tells you a planting depth of one inch, and then harvest, harvest is about a hundred days, and then you sow in a rich, fertile soil after danger of frost. And then, um, and so this is a you know a good time of the year for us here in Pennsylvania because our, our frost day here is May 15th and we're, that's in about 13 days. And so uh, these will still be in in the ground. Once they you plant these in the soil, they'll take about you know seven days to, to germinate and pop their heads out of the soil. So anyhow, what I'm going to do too then is I have my comp, uh, my uh, alfalfa pellets. I'm going to sprinkle some of them on top of my soil here and then work, work that into the soil with my garden fork. And that way the pellets will fall down into the soil levels, feeding the, the roots, the plant roots at different levels. And so that's gonna add some nice nutrition to the soil. It's a nice slow release fertilizer. And then I'm gonna just, just take the back of your rake and I'm going to just level that off a little bit. And then uh, I'm going to take about five of these seeds out of this pack and then just lay them on the soil and then push them down in with my fingers. I like these working with these nice big seeds. Because I want to have one good plant that's going to, I'm going to use for this container. And then I'll simply take a pair of scissors and cut the other ones off flush with the soil. And then before you push them in the soil, I'm just going to mark each end of the row. I do have these red markers with me here today. I'm simply going to just mark the end of the row and then take my finger and push them down into the soil. And you want to make sure that soil's nice and loose, again, nice and fine soil when you plant your seeds, because you want your seeds to have good contact with the soil. And then I'm just simply Push the soil back over the seeds. You want to make sure you don't get a lot of clumps back over your seeds. Because again, you want it to have a good contact. So I'm going to just take my hand and push it down on the, lightly on the soil there. And then take my trusty old watering can here. And you want to water these in real nice. You know, I just love direct sowing seeds out in the garden or even indoor sowing you know, in the market packs because, you know, these these little seeds are living embryos, you know, that develop into a little plant. And so, you know, you have to nurture and care for these as they grow older, you know, just like a mother would its, its newborn baby, you know. So it's fun nurturing these and taking care of these 
and feeding them as they grow. You know, you'll want to feed these plants, you know, once they, they grow a little bit more, you'll want to start fertilizing these, fertilizing them with a liquid fertilizer, or even once a month, fertilize these with, uh, I'm going to use some compost tea actually on these. So, so anyhow, now that these seeds are in the soil, I'm going to take an empty soil or salad container and lay it over these seeds. And then you want to put a weight on top. I have a rock right here. I'm going to take this rock and just put it over the salad container. That's going to hold in the soil moisture. It's going to create a nice warmth inside there, just like it would a mini greenhouse. And it's also going to keep the birds uh, from bothering those seeds. So anyhow, there you go. There you have it. Uh, growing spaghetti squash in a garden container. It's really going to be simple. You know, and, and maybe a couple weeks or a month down the road too, I'm going to be taking videos of how these plants are progressing along. And so I'm also going to take a wire fencing section about four foot by four foot and cover these plants in these containers so the deer won't bother them. Once they get mature, they'll be okay. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the section below. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, so you can receive future videos. So anyhow, I just want to thank you for spending some time with me out here in the garden. It's always a blessing to be out here in the garden, among, these, among the wildlife and the birds and, and so on. So, so anyhow, I just hope you have a wonderful day. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.